quite delighted, my dear friends, to share with you few thoughts as we are approaching a new year 2022. I tell you, every year comes after 365 days or so, we enter into a new year and then we go for a new calendar and we change the year from 2021 to 2022, so to say. But I got certain information to share with you. I wish those information will give you certain direction of life so that the upcoming year 2022 will be a blessed one, a graced one, and godly one, an enjoyable one, at the same time, very beautiful one. Wishing you all a very, very prosperous new year 2022. I like to begin my reflections, throwing the spotlight on. 1st of January 1863 happened in the United States of America. Then President, well-known President Abraham Lincoln signed a new document. Why? He saw that in the past 300 years, people who were brought from African continent were treated very shabbily, unjustly, inhumanly, and there was no future for them over there in the United States of America. The President Abraham Lincoln gave a call. We are entering in a new year. We should open up a new chapter for the people coming from Africa. They are serving us. And they are our migrants. But they are our co-workers. And their sweat and blood make the United States of America richer and richer. There he signed on the New Year's Day. 1863, as I said a little earlier, opening a new epoch. What's that one? The children or the people who have come from Africa will have the right to education. I tell you, this was 1863, a new year we are proceeding on the part of the President Abraham Lincoln, 1863. Look at the detail. In another 140 years later, in the year 2009, on the January the 20th, and that particular Afro-American, you know him, Barack Obama, took charge as the President of the United States of America. And it opened a new vistas, and they opened a new avenue, for not only for the country of the United States of America, it snowballed and brought a new vibration all over the world. And I, I hope, I pray, I wish the upcoming year 2022 should be something like this for you and for me. Let me now move to another information. You will be highly surprised to know the new year was not celebrated from the beginning January the 1st. And even at the time of Mary, Jesus, Joseph, when they were born, and that is 2000 years ago, and at that time, the Christmas was March the 1st. And went on, February was the last month. You know, you will agree with me when I say, every fourth year, the leap year, we add a day, 29th, to the 28th days of month of February, because that was the last month of the calendar. And why? The, it was changed to January 1st. In the year 46, in the very first century, then the emperor, that is Julius Caesar, for the Roman calendar, he shifted from March 1st to January 1st. And the missionaries who went from Rome across the world to preach the gospel of the Lord, they only did not only take the gospel of the Lord, they also took the Roman calendar. Now it has become a universal calendar. Some places they say it's a Christian calendar. Not at all, it's a Roman calendar. And it's not a European calendar, it's only meant for Rome at the time. Now it has become universal. And it was accepted by the international community for the simple reason that the logic that was highlighted by Julius Caesar was quite acceptable and the international community accordingly, correspondingly accepted the proposal to shift it to January 1st. And what was the logic? Julius Caesar threw the spotlight on the goddess by name Janus. 
I'm going by that particular name of the deity. The month of January was termed Januarius Janus January. And there was something speciality about that deity, Janus. Janus had two faces. And that particular deity had two faces. Julius Caesar gave this logic. As we enter into a new year, we need to have two faces. And we need to have a two look. And the look began what we crossed the past year. Assess the year. Review the year. Learn from the past year. And still, in spite of all your blunders and failures of the past year, think of something new for the upcoming year that is a front face. We need to have the both the faces, both the looks and the both the perspectives so that the new year will be something special. I like to end my reflection here. As we enter in the new year 2022, I am not going to propose one or two or three uh, things. You take it for consideration or discuss and think about something else in your own respective families and societies and communities. You talk about what I am now uh, sharing with you and thereby make the new year a blessed one. Suggestion number one, before you enter in the new year, even if you cannot forgive the blunders done to you, against you, by one or the other, you cannot forget, but forgive the person. And thereby enter in the new year with certain freshness of your heart and mind. Suggestion number two, the last year, that is 2021, when you are not used anything, which is found in your cupboard, in your desk, or in your, on your table, or in your almara, or in your room, which are not used any time, down the last year 2021, before you enter into 2022, share with somebody. Somebody. So that you have the blessing of God through them. Suggestion number three. On the New Year's Day, start at a new place. After all, wishing your family members and friends, dear and near ones, walk out of the uh, street or the road where you are coming from. Move to a slum area. Meet a poor family. Share your joy with them. And wish them all the best. And so that they also will have the joy of receiving you. And celebratingly, they will enter into the new year 2022. I tell you, these are simple suggestions. You don't need to go by these suggestions, but the Spirit of God will inspire you. But have something concrete. Abraham did it, uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln did it for the United States. Julius Caesar did it for the Roman Empire. You do it, I do it for our context. Thereby, let us make 2022 a graced one, a blessed one, a happy one, and a holy one. I wish you all the best and a very, very happy 2022. Thank you so much. Every pure intention lands when the good